going to do question 3 from topic 14, video C. And the question is, consider the reaction for aluminum, 3 manganese oxide yields 3 manganese plus 2 aluminum oxide. If 22 grams of aluminum react with 13 grams of manganese oxide, how much excess reactant remains after the reaction has run to completion? So first we're going to need to figure out how many moles we have of each reactant. So I'll take the 22 grams of aluminum and multiply it by one mole of aluminum over its molecular weight, which is 26.98 grams of aluminum. This gives us 0 0.815 moles of aluminum. And now we're going to take our second reactant and it will be 13 grams of manganese oxide. Multiply this by one mole of manganese oxide. Divided by its molecular weight, which is 86.94 grams of manganese oxide, which gives us 0 0.150 moles of manganese oxide. So now we're going to take the moles we previously figured out to use that to figure out how many moles we have of the product, and you can choose either the manganese or the aluminum oxide, whichever one you prefer. So here I'm going to take the 0 0.815 moles of aluminum that we previously derived and multiply this by the, by the manganese to aluminum ratio. So I'll have 3 moles of manganese divided by 4 moles of aluminum, which gives us 0 0.611 moles of manganese. And then we'll take the 0 0.150 moles of manganese oxide. And do the same thing we've done before. We're going to take the ratio of the manganese to manganese oxide, which is 3 to 3 or 1 to 1. gives us 0 0.150 moles of manganese. And based off of this information, we know that it'll actually be the, the manganese oxide will be our limiting reagent and aluminum is our excess reagent. Because manganese oxide is the one that produces a smaller amount of moles of manganese. So we just figured out that manganese oxide is the limiting reagent, and the question asks for the amount of ex excess reactant that remains after the reaction has run to completion. So you take the moles of manganese oxide, which is 0 0.15, and you use this to figure out the moles of aluminum used in the reaction. So 0 0.15 moles of manganese oxide, and you multiply by the ratio of aluminum to manganese oxide, which is 4 to 3, so 4 moles of aluminum to 3 moles of manganese oxide. And you can figure this out by looking at the reaction, and this gives us 0.2 moles of aluminum. And this tells us the amount of aluminum that was used in the reaction. But we had previously figured out that we have a total of 0 0.815 moles of aluminum. So we subtract the amount used from 
which is 0.2 moles of aluminum, and we realize that we have an excess of 0.615 moles of aluminum. Then we can use the moles of aluminum to figure out the grams of aluminum that are left. So we take 0 0.615 moles of aluminum and we multiply it by the molecular weight of aluminum, which is 26.98 grams of aluminum per one mole of aluminum. Cancel the moles out, and we get 16.6 grams of aluminum remaining, and this can be rounded to 17 grams, which gives us answer choice C.